together and we're starting to play a little better because we're all healthy, and that's exactly what happens. They're 3-0 and in this building, so this is going to be a very tough place for North to come in here. I'm saying 3-0 and in conference to come in here and win a basketball game. Oh, it doesn't look like North or South are going to win the conference, but you always want to finish above your crosstown rival in the standings. This is going to be a huge game with both of them being 3-2. Uh, and two. Yeah, it is a, a really big game, and I've been thinking about this game you know, all day today, and one thing I think that's going to be interesting is South's experience and some of the newer players for Sheboygan North. you got kids like Lorgi and Bedoin, Damcott, uh, even Witter that have never played in a big North-South game like this. We'll see how those kids respond. The South kids, they're more senior, you know, experience. A lot of those kids were juniors last year. And again, you know, we'll see how that goes. I think you always bring up a good point that didn't Aubrey Koitzer say, like, the first two or three minutes of a North-South game is, like, some of the worst basketball ever? Let's see which team kind of comes out of the gate and on, on track. I want to mention this again, Chris. It has nothing to do with the basketball game, but the bands behind us, uh, Sheboygan South and Sheboygan North are... Uh, Co-opting uh, with the music tonight, South uh, Wade Heinen is their director, and uh, Keen Carey is the uh, North director. Back to basketball. You like to say if you want to beat North, you got to control Hasenstein. I say if you want to beat South, you got to control Logan Hamilton. Yeah, those are obviously the two big stars. They're, they're both having really good seasons. Logan Hamilton had 20 points last week. Again, he had a bunch of rebounds and things. But I think, you know, those two players are obviously are important. I mean, Zach Hosenstein, he's he's a terrible matchup for anybody. I'm really curious to see what coach rank, who's going to guard him, unless there's going to be a couple players. But I think it's going to be those role players, those different players, the Dylan Martins, you know, the Ben Lorgies, you know, the Brent Witters, and, of course, Ethan Sinalis, too. I mean, those are the kids. Who's going to step up, those little ones? You know what you're going to get out of Hamilton. You know what you're going to get out of Hosenstein. But who are going to be the heroes tonight? I think one of the guys you got to pay attention to for South is uh, Dylan Martins. He's averaging double-digit rebounds, and uh, he can be a force underneath. And with North not being very tall, he could be tough to handle. Yeah, and I think you mentioned it when we've done some of the games as well as I have. I mean, they are much better South, that is, when Dylan Martins is on the floor because that takes away the post presence and things. Logan Hamilton can go out and shoot threes and things like that. Or Dylan Martins can control things. I mean, he's averaging almost 10 rebounds a game, but if South's got Dylan Martins in the game, that's a big force in the middle there. When he comes out, South gets a little bit smaller. And then, like I said, Logan's got to go bang against some of the bigs. And uh, definitely a key player is Dylan Martins. One more thing, Chris, before we, if we end this. Uh, North likes to pressure a little bit. How is South's ball handling? Is that going to play a role in tonight's ball game? Well, the guy who's going to be in charge of that is going to be Josh Kovac, and he's a freshman. Well, we've seen him a number of times this year. He doesn't care about the spotlight. That kid's playing like it's a junior or a senior. So far this year, he's really handled it. He and you know, everyone was nervous when they, oh, Big the Beer's coming into town. Josh Kovac stood up, stood up big time and knocked down the, the Redbirds when he was there. So we'll see how Josh handles it. We'll see if he's got a little nerves because it is his first experience. But I think a lot of it's going to rely on him. And that's what he will help him too. I think the band is getting tired because I could hear you this interview. We're going to step out and we come back. We'll have the uh, opening or the lineups and the opening tip-off for tonight's game. spot. You know my motto, safety first. They could be dangerous. I think we should call animal control. Animal control? To be safe. Don't worry. Just... I got this. It's a new motto. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. When you throw away money on wasted electricity, you're throwing away everything you could have bought with it. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.com. A fairy godmother? It doesn't take a fairy godmother to tell you that the right fit means everything. Especially when it comes to car seats. 
always choose one that's the right fit for your child's age and size. Oh, that does make a difference. <laughs> Remember, their happily ever afters are in your hands. To find out more, visit safercar.gov. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Sheboygan South High School. Tonight's game features the visiting Sheboygan North Golden Raiders against your Sheboygan South High Red Wings. One of the goals of high school athletics is learning lifelong values. Sportsmanship is one such value that makes this game an educational experience. The Fox River Classic Conference stresses sportsmanship as a goal and expectation for all in attendance at tonight's game. Please remember to sport a winning attitude by cheering positively for your own team. And now, let's meet the starting lineups. First, for the North High Golden Raiders, six foot senior number 11, Ethan Sinellis. Six foot senior number 21, Jackson Demcott. 6'3", senior number 23, Zach Hasenstein. Six-foot sophomore, number 24, Brent Witter. And 6'2", senior number 25, David Sonnentag. Head coach, Eric Wirth, varsity, Andy Boonstro. Peter Wirth, manager, Keely Siporowski. And now, for your starting lineups for your South High Red Wings. Six foot senior number one, Jared Splitgerber. Five ten freshman, number three, Josh Govac. Six four senior number 33, Logan Hamilton. 6'7", senior number 42, Dylan Martins. And 6'1", senior number 44, Michael Rank Jr. Head coach, Mike Rank, assistant Jeff Risto. Managers, Brett Smith, Will Simmons. Simmons, the officials for tonight's game. Charles Bladorn Jr., Dan Merton, David Thiel. Our official scorer, Michelle Walters. These individuals are registered by the WIAA. Their experience and integrity qualify them to administer the rules of the game. Our trainers from Brevea Sports Medicine, from North, Chris Lenz, from South, Dave Stecker. Tonight's game supervisor, Christopher Karf. Got a good repping crew for this ball game, Chris. Chuck Bladorn's been in yep. the business for a long time. Yep, just on the tip there. Hey, we didn't mention probably the biggest factor, someone new on the sideline for North. It's Eric <laughs> Worth coaching his first North game. Yes. Strange after whatever I've been in town, he's always been here. Martin's uh, cutting in, trying to intercept the pass, but uh, knocked it out of bounds. North will uh, keep the possession. You were mentioning about all the uh, famous people in the stands on Saturday. It's uh, pretty much like that here, this ball game. Good cover-up defense by uh, Hamilton. Do we and mention nerves? Yeah, there you go. Sit right there. Yeah, I, was, I stole your thunder there. I know you said something about Aubrey used to say that, right? What's about it? the first couple of minutes. Oh yeah, that was in the that was in the Desatel show. I see the worst basketball <laughs> go Way to the short. first two games of a North South game. Rank uh, tying up uh, Damcott. He brought the ball down and uh, 
He's Mike Rank Jr. hustling right over. But you notice Mike Rank too, he kind of, you know, pushed that ball instead of, you know, the, his traditional good shot that he has. He had a bunch of threes the other day, Marty. He can, he can nail that yeah. shot. You got to cover he him up. He looked a little nervous shooting that one. Hamilton from way outside the line couldn't get it. Damcott with a rebound. Ozzie pushing it up. Snell's had it in the middle. Damcott didn't catch that ball clean either. And ball almost tipped away. Sonente got it. Shot is no good. Sonellis with the good hustle. Witter wide open from the corner. Nailed it. He leads the league in threes, Marty. And he's just a sophomore. Look at him right here on the replay. Shot. Good. Had a good look at it. Damcott with the good defense. Hamilton trying to go inside. Had to kick it out. Josh Govek on top, had it for a minute. Interesting, North. Hosenstein on Hamilton. They put Splitty on uh, Hosenstein on the other end, Marty. Wide open. Sonentag was way off of Martins, not respecting him, and uh, he made him pay that time. Yeah, it was a good skip pass there. Ozzie, I think, wanted to shoot it, but couldn't get it off in time. Witter from outside the line. He's got another one. Did we mention he leads the league in threes, Marty? I heard somebody say that, but it wasn't really <laughs> listening. Was that you? 6-2 <laughs> two North on top on the strength of a couple of uh, Witter threes. He's a workaholic, Marty. He's a workaholic. Rank, fake pass, and he nails a three. Good pass, fake by Mike Rank Jr. First two and a half minutes, been pretty exciting. Here you see Rank. Push. Sinellis so uh, cut off by uh, Dylan Martins. They're not even guarding uh, Sonatag, Marty. Oh, could have been a push. Jackson Damcott uh, with a little bit of a push off. Ha couldn't get his uh, short jumper to roll in. Rank again nails it. South on top, 8-6. Just like Dad used to do. Travel. Hosenstein with a travel. That's the right call. Coach Worth is not happy, but I'm sorry, Coach. That was the right call. I think he was more angry with the Hazi than he was the nah, official. he was letting Coach uh, Chuck Guido know that. Yeah, I agree with you, too. It was a good call. Here's that pressure. Early North substitution, Marty. Yep. Sokolowski in the yep. ball game. Govek trying to force it in. Got it into Martins, but he couldn't get the short one, and he gets the ball right back. And oh, he traveled. <laughs> I don't know about that, Marty. A lot of action up on top. I know that's where I was looking. Uh, we weren't looking down at the feet. He didn't have time to travel. Early in the ball game, south on top. When he back pivoted, he stepped out of bounds, Marty. Yeah. Court awareness. Coming in the ball game is uh, Brian Seymour. Uh, there's a name we didn't mention in the opening, but you know he could be one of those guys that uh, could be a difference maker. He's good for points off the bench. Govek, oh, a good shot that time by Josh. North on the bust out, Hazi going right to the lane. He gets fouled. Rank, I think, is going to pick it up. Well, we talk about Sheboygan North and uh, Coach Worth. He's been in the big games. He's brought in, uh, Howard's Grove to sectional games, so he's well aware of what this situation is and the competitiveness and played in this game, as did Coach Rank. The uh, pace of this game is considerably different than uh, the first game. And I think we'll see uh, a much closer ball game. 
much more competitive. Yeah, both teams uh, fifth place in their league, three and two. Damcott putting the pressure on uh, Golvec. Well, we'll get a chance. We'll be talking about the conference a little bit, Marty, as we go along. Hamilton going baseline. He's going to get the foul. Or pardon me, draw the foul and score the basket. Could be a three-point play the old-fashioned way. Watch this. It's a little bit slow there. No Academy Award for uh, Sokolowski. Lorgi in the game now, Marty. Checking in number 44, Ben Lorgi. I would think Lorgi and uh, Dylan Martins would be a pretty uh, interesting matchup. Yep. Couple of raw bone type kids. 11-7 South. Interesting, Hamilton on Sinalis, wow. Yeah, they started the game that way. Seymour, Lorgi, Damcott looked like a carry Gary. on the dribble. Nice, nice feed inside. Lorgi couldn't get it in, but he does draw the foul on Dylan Martins. And that's the one thing we talked about in the opening. Dylan Martins has to be on the floor. He can't get those fouls. Lorgi will be shooting a pair. Optinorth going to be count checking in, as is Jared Goldack for South. Thirteen thirty two left in the first half. Hamilton stepped in, but uh, no call since the free throw went in. Witter going to hassle Govac here. Just a freshman. He and his brother, number 23. Too much ball dribbling. is tipped away. Govac able to get it back. Split Gerber with a rainbow three is no good. The ball tipped away from Witter, but Sinell is able to gather it in. Tough matchup right here. Hosenstein forcing it. Couldn't get it. And coming away with the uh, loose ball was uh, Jared Govec, Josh's older brother. He's a kid, too, that plays awfully hard. Hamilton rimmed out. Didn't really set his feet, Marty. A good hustle out there by Lorgi. And a travel on Seymour. Well, Witter hit those two threes, Marty, and that's all North's gotten so far. And a couple of free throws, but you're right, as far as baskets. Oppie had an open look, but didn't take it. He had a nice game last Saturday, Marty. Josh Govec, a little behind the back dribble, and kicks it out to Hamilton. A lot of contact. Sneaks through. They're calling the foul on the throw floor. I thought that was a great move by Logan. Yep, watch it here. There's the bang and a good call too by the official. Posse went on his back right there. His first. And they're just attacking, attacking. Yeah. South is attacking physically and Let's see what happens here now. We got Seymour on the floor, Bodine on the floor. Bodine, Lorgi did not play last year. Jackson Damcott not in this game a year ago. So see how these young kids for North, and actually seniors too, that uh, experiencing how they step up. Govac with a chance to tack on to the lead, but uh, he missed that first free throw. Yeah, and he's a 82 percenter, Marty. Missed them both. Damcott goes high for the rebound. Witter spotting up. And couldn't get it in, and it gets tipped. They're saying North tipped it out of bounds. South will get it. Damcott going high for the board, couldn't grab it. 
Good double screen there, Marty. Sorry for interrupting you, but great screens there for Witter. Ethan McLaughlin pushing the ball up the floor, and they never do stop him. Hopkinor's shot in the lane is no good, but he draws the foul. And again, South getting way deep on North, just like we saw a couple weeks ago when uh, Notre Dame came back against North and beat them in their place. Rainett's in the ball game for North. Quinton Bodine also in the ball game. Two fouls on South, four on North. There's a couple of free throws by the Southsiders. Makes it 13 to eight. 12 minutes left in the first half. South definitely out scrapping the North Siders so far, Chris. Bedoin stopped off at the baseline and he throws it in the backcourt. And that's a turnover. North has four fouls, team fouls. South has two. And uh, Coach Worth not very happy with something. We're not sure exactly what, but uh, his brother Peter is bringing him over. And uh, now we got a timeout, 32nd timeout by North with the score 13 to 8. Chris, uh, are you seeing the same thing I'm seeing? I just think South is out hustling North yeah, right now. Yeah, and they're getting to the basket, driving there, doing the, the little things to be successful. I mean, North, too, they have five turnovers. Five turnovers and six minutes of play. Got to take care of the basketball a little bit better. I would definitely say that North, or excuse me, South is the aggressor, especially in the offensive end as well. Between uh, Jared Splitgerber and Josh Golbeck, I don't think uh, the Red Wings have to worry about North's pressure. Uh, they seem to be uh, pretty adept at... Uh, and the North the entire coaching staff has talked to each official already tonight, too. <laughs> That's what happens when you're losing. <laughs> Good pass. Opkenor working in. Little push shot. Didn't go down. The winner got the rebound. North trying to run it, and they do. Dam Damcott had a wide open three and didn't even come close. Ethan McLaughlin kick out to Goldbeck. Bango! A three ball by Josh Govek. Jared Govek, pardon me. Odine with the miss. Yeah, I see we got a North player down. I think that's Witter. No. Or is that uh, Jackson, Damcott? Damcott. Jackson Damcott down. So he might have taken a bump to the head. Maybe we can get a replay, see what happened on that. There you go. There's a three. Let's run this out here a little bit. Damcott's over here on your left, Marty. Okay. Osenstein has it there. Damcott is number 21. Looks like he turned an ankle. You see him limping off the floor. At first I thought he might have got hit in the head because he put his hands up by his head, but uh, doesn't seem to be the case. Hopefully he'll be okay. David Sonnentag back in the game. His dad's going to check on him. His dad's a really good runner, Marty. And his brother is a runner at Oshkosh, too. Cool. Jackson's is. Zach Caffeine is in the ball game for the first time, number 35. North gonna squeeze a little bit on the press here. Good job of getting it in and the goal back. Hasenstein can't get another foul. Pick out pass to McLaughlin, his shot rims off. North only with two baskets on the Witter threes, and that, they got a couple free that throws. That was early, too. Yeah, exactly. They haven't scored in a number of minutes. Boudoin taking it hard to the hoop and scores. Breaks the North drought. Good 
drive in there. The team's got to step up and stop that. Opkenorth driving to the hoop and scores. Bad defense that time by the Northsiders. See if Hazi attacks, but he's done a great job on Hazenstein so far. Bedoin hard to the hoop, scores, and he's fouled. There's one of those young men. We weren't sure how they could handle this, but right there, the North needed some hoops. Foul goes on Zach Caffeine. That's who it should be on. Zach Bodine, Bedoin on the board. He's got four points, looking for number five. Oh boy. Hamilton with the rebound. He's had a lot of rest. Martins has had a lot of rest. Ranks had a lot of rest. Three ball by Opkenorth. Bedoin couldn't get it. Martins out battles the three North Raiders for it. <clears throat> a whistle underneath that's going to go on south. Upkenorth with the foul. Fourth, four team fouls for each squad. There's 9.50 left in the first half. Rank on Hosenstein. Hosenstein's pretty quick. Good kick out pass to Witter. He hits another three. Been a long time since we heard from him, but uh, when we have, he's been dead. He's been money. Look at these two young freshmen and a sophomore. Good kick out pass. And South throws it in the backcourt. And North can't quite get to it. That's back to back turnovers for Optin North. Got to do a better job taking care of the ball. South with three turnovers. Woody back in the game to match up against Hazi. Hazenstein, nice bounce pass. Sokolowski puts in the easy shot. North is within one. 18 to 17. Red Wings still on top. You see a good replay of that. Good job, guys. There's a good matchup, too. Sinalis on Splitty. There's a carry, not called. Govek. Bango! Long three. Good penetrating pitch. I have uh, South Marty for four threes. Sinalis open from three ball and he puts one in. I have North with four threes. <laughs> it's raining threes. Good extra pass and makes it there. Oh, Martin Strong on the rebound. Puts it up and in. It's He's fired up. His third offensive rebound. Now it's going back and forth again, Marty. Sinalis with a good fake. Dish off to uh, Sokolowski for an easy two. Are you staying up with it, Marty? Hardly. <laughs> Martin pass to Martins. He puts it in. Dry penetration and dumps. That's all North teams are doing. 25-22. turn. Bedoin looking cool out there. Gonna get an offensive foul on him. He looks a little tired, Quentin does. He played a good couple minutes though. Maybe they called a travel Chris. Yeah, no, no, they they called it on uh the doing on the Okay. Oh there foul. there it goes. Up on the board. Josh Govek pressuring it up, gets it inside to Martins for another easy two. He has six quick points, Chris. He's right on the block, and then he just sits there and waits for the ball to come to him. Witter going hard to the hoop. Had a good look, but couldn't get it up and in. 
Good defense by Bedoin on Hamilton. Martins with another board. Hamilton trying to go one on one. And they're gonna reload, Marty. Good decision by South. Seven minutes left in the first half. Jared Gulbeck. Martin's passing up the three. Good choice by yes, Dylan. It was. That's a smart basketball right there. He has no threes on the season, Marty. Kicks it inside. He missed the first attempt. And then it gets tipped out of bounds by Sinellis. Dylan Martin's out battling the entire North squad underneath Chris. They don't have anybody that can handle him. Six rebounds for Martin's five on the offensive side of the ball. He's got eight points, lead south in that department. Hamilton got a screen, rimmed off. Good rebound by Sonnenteg. Slow start Seymour for Logan. Kisses it off the glass, Brian Seymour. There's that spark off the bench you talked about. That breaks the uh, South Bedoin. Oh my. Going for the steal, couldn't get it. Rank, ho oh, ho, sets the pose after the main, Chris. What a weapon to three point play. And another three by Seymour. He's got it. 30 27, six minutes left. Seymour playing off a rank. Bad place to stop your dribble by the freshman. Govac's got it being guarded he by a He looks tired too, back. Yeah, they both look tired. Whistle out here. Who's that going to go on? I think Sonate. Maybe. No. 25. You're right. No, 35. Quinton Bedoin picks up the uh, foul. That's his second. And he's going to sit down. Hosenstein checking back in. And coming in for South is Jared Govec. It's a good choice there. Josh looks a little winded. Yeah, good point. Logan Hamilton, just three points for South so far. Got to get him on track. Hazi trying to get position on the big fella. Split Gerber bumped. Bumped, but no call. Call him out of bounds. North will get it back. Down three. 526 left in the ball game. In the, pardon me, in the first half. Here's another guy that's got to get on track, Hazi. Seymour. Good call. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I remember that from gym class, all his politicking. <laughs> <laughs> Seventh turnover on North. North. I like that matchup with Sokolowski and Martins. The, dif the difference is Martins is way stronger than Steve. Yep, but both of those guys are battlers. Inside to Dylan Martins. He's got another two points. He's having a big night. Witter on the drive. Couldn't get it. Go back with the rebound. Hamilton on the push. That's a good call, too. Yeah, that is. I agree. He wasn't there, and when the offensive player is moving. That's a second foul on Hosenstein, too. Yeah. Well, we'll see what they do here with uh, Hosenstein and two fouls. Hamilton uh, one for one from the line tonight. Stan said he's worked a lot on his little things, being a better passer, being a better dribbler, and his free throw shooting. You know he could always shoot, right? but his dad said they tried this summer to really work on those little things to, to make him a better overall basketball player. He puts in a pair, it's 35-27. Okay, and now Hosenstein comes out with his two fouls. Make it 34. See how 27. far this goes here. I haven't heard much from Ethan Sinalis either tonight. 
one three ball I think he made, Chris. Yep, and that one for been, one. Yeah, okay, I was going to say, that might be his only shot. Too much dribbling. Got to swing it. Witter. Nice shot by Witter. Rainbow three. He's four for four from three-point range. Four of six overall in the game. He's keeping North in it. He's got 12. Jared split Gerber. Rank, a little bit open, couldn't get it to go. Witter with the board. Seymour, quick three. Probably not the best shot in the world. Worked the ball around a little bit. A little bit more. That'll be bonus time for uh, North. Sokolowski with the uh, foul. That's his second. Sokolowski, Bedoin, and Hasenstein all with two fouls each, Chris. Now, remember from an earlier game, Dylan has a pretty good touch from the line. For a big guy, he's uh, got a real nice follow through. 78% from the free throw line, Marty. And nobody blocked out Hamilton, and it looked like it went off a North player, yeah, but did. they're going to get it, and Mike Rank is not happy. And I don't blame him. Yep, I thought two North players actually uh, had a chance to tip that out of bounds. Witter to Bodoin. Seymour open. He's got it. That's a better shot, Chris, because he worked the offense yep. a little bit. Yep, and he set his feet, his second three, pulls north within one. Hamilton going hard, and that's going to be an offensive that's foul. Just, that's a poor, poor choice. Look at that three. Seymour. One thing that uh, South has been really good at, not that possession, obviously, has been moving the ball around, yep. passing it, working, making the defense move. Yep, that was a very poor decision. Coming in for South is Evan Opkenorth. Uh, look at Martins go to the bench, boy. He's tired. He's working hard out there. Seymour directing traffic. That's what's nice about having a senior come off the bench. Witter being guarded by Rank. Travel. Yeah. Bedoin had the right idea. Got to get the ball on the floor first. Not too many turnovers lately. Too many on North tonight, though. Did you give uh, Did you give uh, Logan an off? Up oh, I did. Turnover? See the big T here. Oh. Teeing him up, huh? No. <laughs> Just for a turnover. Go back, drive it to the wow. basket, and scores. I didn't know if he had the right angle on the backboard there, but. Uh, he seemed to whittle his way in there. You know, for a freshman, everybody just kind of got out of his way and said, go ahead. Sinalis, not seeing much inside. Kick out to Seymour. That shot off the glass and in. Oh, man. Feeling it. Yeah, he's feeling it all right. Feeling awfully lucky. Oh, reverse Go back layup. on a reverse layup. Woo! Exciting first half, Marty. It was tied at 36, but South comes right back to take the lead. Winner, a quick release, no good. Bedoin with the offensive board. North reloading. 225 left. Worth calling a full timeout. Since it's a full timeout, Chris, we're going to take a long break again. They said a bottle was just a bottle. That no one would ever notice me. But I knew I could be more. That one day, I would make people smile. Back at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, there you see it. 
South up by two. What happened in the flurry here is uh, Seymour came down with a couple of threes, drew North to within one. South came down and scored on a layup by Govek. Seymour comes back, nails a three off the glass. That was an excuse me three. That tied it at 36 and right back down the floor within the lickety split of a couple of dribbles. Josh Govek on a reverse layup, put it up and in, and that's where we're at right now. South on top by two. North uh, has it. There's 2.26 left in the first half. It's been, uh, to say entertaining, is not uh, doing it enough justice. Yes, it's been very exciting. North shooting 52% from the floor, Marty. And they're still down. Yeah. Green, it's back in the ball game for North. North uh, slowing it down a little bit here, Chris. Having a little trouble finding an opening. Let's hope they remain uh, patient. Yeah, unofficially, I have North with eight threes, Marty, of those 13 baskets. Eight of 12 from outside the arc. One thing South has done is played awesome defense, too. They're making it pretty difficult to get the ball inside. That's one of the issues North is having. They're not getting the ball inside. Hazi, with his two fouls, is on the bench, and uh, he hasn't been able to drive to the basket. Minute 30 left. Well, interesting. This was up and down, and now North decided to, uh, we're going to pull it out and do a little work here. Rainitz clears it. Lorgi to the basket and scores. Another country heard from Chris. South at 46% shooting, 5 of 14 from 3. Josh Goldbeck looking to drive it to the hoop. He's got an opening again. Sinellis with a block. It goes off of Goldbeck, but they're going to give it back to uh, the Red Wings. Ethan Sinales has been around the block a little bit. He's uh, very experienced. We said one of those blue guys, him and Spuddy, not going to get a lot of points, but do all those little things. And uh, trying to protect Martins here. I, I would keep Martins here on offense. Double screen for Rank. And Sinales read the play and tried to cut the pass off. He did that, but was not able to save it. Salt will keep it. 53.9 seconds left. We're all tied at 38. Good switch underneath to keep uh, Hamilton from... Uh, Hamilton goes the wow. other way and lays it in. What a move. Much better there, Logan, attacking. 40 seconds left, North slowing it down. Just like and last time. Eric Worth, I think, uh, okay with this. Oh, yeah, down a bucket with the basketball. Ozzie on the bench. Seymour with a three. And it goes off of uh, Lorgi. Yep, North will get it. I should have ran more clock in my estimation. Yeah, I agree with you. He's been hot, though. He hit his last two threes. Four of six now from the floor, Brian Seymour. Rainitz on uh, split Gerber. 14 seconds. Under 10. And Rainitz with a foul, and the split Gerber will go to the line. See, now right here, I bring Hasenstein in the game. Seven seconds left. Split Gerber with a one and one attempt here. See, now I would not put Martins in the game here. Because <laughs> now you're on the defensive end. Don't want him to get that second foul late here. But I would have put Hasenstein in here because. For the offense. Offense, oh yeah. Another Split Gerber can't throw. get it in. Five seconds, four, three, step back. They're not going to call a foul on Hamilton, and that's the half. South on top, 40 to 38.
food. It nourishes, brings us together, and adds flavor to life. That's why it's important to wash hands, surfaces, and fresh produce. Keep raw meat, poultry, and seafood separate from ready-to-eat foods like fruits and vegetables. And cook to proper temperatures using a food thermometer. Enjoy! and refrigerate leftovers within two hours. For more tips on safely preparing foods, visit Home Food Safe. Oh, sweetheart. Can I give you a hand? <laughs> no thanks, Dad. I got it. Okay. I'm gonna go fix the lamp in your room. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you. Taught me never to run with scissors and to follow the swimming rules. 
You tell me to stay away from drugs, to always buckle my seatbelt. So why do you keep a loaded gun in your drawer? How safe is that? You ask them to follow some safety rules, now they're asking you. In fact, they're counting on you. Never let your gun get into the wrong hands. Remember, always lock it up. Visit ncpc.org. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to Energy Star light bulbs, and you'll realize just how much cash you are really burning through. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at Energy Savers. About a quarter. Thank you. 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 Thank you
pretty balanced scoring, Chris. Hey, I like the way we talked in the beginning. You knew about Hasenstein, you knew about Hamilton. Yeah, well, combined they have like, you know, 10 points total, you know, between them. All the scoring's been from some, some other people, and you know, the Witters, the Ranks, Dylan Martin, who we said would be able to, you know, it's those other people that we said we're gonna have, need to have big games are, because so far, Hasenstein and Hamilton have kind of been held down a little bit. Ozzie only has one point, Chris, uh, free throw, obviously, and uh, he hasn't gotten many shots off either. No, and that's uh, Jared Splitgerber. Uh, he's averaging 19-2. He's certain the league in scoring, Zach is. Let's see what how he comes out here in the second half. He's an excellent basketball player, Zach Cosenstein. Seymour starting the second half for the Raiders. Yeah, because of Ozzy. Uh, Kick out to Sinellis. His three ball is good. Another three. Is that their first lead, Marty? No, they <laughs> led early with Winter. That's right. No. They led three to two and uh, six to two. And then at that point, South uh, took the lead at eight six. Yeah, I remember Jackson Demcott went out with that ankle injury, so Seymour's now taking over. Seymour had that nice first half with four of six shooting and three threes, but picked up a silly foul there. Forty-one to forty. This has been an—I <laughs> don't like to use this word too much, but uh, this has been an awesome game. It is. It is. Hope it stays that way to the end. Govek with a great move. Sinellis went for the fake, but ends up being rewarded with a rebound. Hasenstein open. Quick three, he got the roll. Oh man. That's 10 threes for North already. And we haven't even played 19 minutes of basketball. North out quick, now they're up by four. Split Gerber being strong with the ball, not letting Seymour or Sinellis take the ball from him. Rank. Under duress, missed the shot. Good defense by Witter. I don't think that was a good shot. Right, agree. Hasenstein open for just a second. He nails a three. He's got back-to-back -back threes, right? Yes, back-to-back -back threes. Dylan Martins missed a short one, and it goes out of bounds. North will get it. We got a timeout by South, their first timeout of the game. With North on top, 47 to 40. We'll be right back. Mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner yeah. soon. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just... Sabena, too. We're, we're trying to resolve our uh, scoring up here. I've got it at 48 to 40. Uh, apparently, Snellis' basket to open up the half must have been a two-pointer. And that made it 41, and then the... No, six they were down two, 40 to 30. Weren't they down... No, 40 to 38. Eight. Yeah, that's right. Okay. They are threes, yep. They are all threes. Yep. North comes out hitting their first three shots, all threes. They're 11 of 15 from three-point range. And we're just starting the second half. Insider doubling up Hasenstein, kick it out to Witter. His shot is no good, but Sinellis, or pardon me, Seymour comes away with the rebound. Fade away is good. What North on fire. You got that right. They're doing everything right. I think Seymour earned a earned bench time, Chris. He only made a two. Pull him out of the game. Rank with a three, couldn't get it. South having trouble scoring baskets all of a sudden. Yeah, well, 
South North hit four of their first five. South missed all four. Different. Seymour, leap and leaner, no good. Golbeck, hard to the hoop. That's going to be a charge. That's a good call. Watch the replay here, coming right into your living room. Oh, he was moving. <laughs> Sorry. Oops. Bad call. Wholesale changes for uh, North. Greg Zablocki running that camera right there. Floor camera, Richard Bartson up here by us. We're not sure who the director is this game. Scott Mailoff or Eric Wiesman, but uh, Probably both. they're doing a great job. Great Corey Greer, Sergi Mollett are our student helpers. Chris Wright doing the color. I'm Mike Martin doing the play-by-play. -play. What a start for North. Holy cow. Up by nine. Who would ever thought? Martin's had it, but couldn't quite hang on to it. And everything that was going their way in terms of loose balls and uh, making baskets has just gone south. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're exactly right. Sokolowski in the game. Martin's abusing him. Hosenstein looking to go a little one-on-one. -on -one. Splitgerber playing the great defense, though. And then he picks up the foul. He's a tough matchup. For Splitty, I got that as his first foul. Second team foul on the Red Wings. Bedoin had it on the line but didn't take the shot. He backs it out. Quicks inside feed to Sokolowski. He missed the bunny shot. Doesn't miss many of those. Hamilton going hard to the traveled. hoop, and he traveled. So maybe another timeout. I would maybe call another timeout, get everything fixed here. Maybe if... Uh, Settle down. Yeah, maybe on the trip back down, call the timeout. So at least you have the ball. Hosenstein, a wild shot. Not necessary, too. You've been, you got all the mojo. Govek out on top, being guarded by Sinellis. Frank with a pump fake, couldn't get the shot off. Govek. Buddy wants the ball, but it's a lot more difficult to get it to you than you think. Hamilton, nice step through move, put it up and in. Finally. First basket after six misses for South. Excuse me, five misses. Four minutes, too, before they Yipper. scored any points. Bedoin. Got around uh, Goldback and scores. Quinton Bedoin. I like him, Chris. He's points off the bench. Yep, I said that's one of the guys that count on. Goldback from deep. No good. Sokolowski with a good rebound. Good block out on Dylan Martins. Bedoin posting up inside on Govek, and uh, that's a good call. I think he got the shoulder into him and uh, yep. put him to the floor. I think it was advantage north with Bedoin down deep against Govek, though. He just got to be a little more subtle on the move. All right, coming in the ball game is uh, Govek for uh, North and Opkenorth for uh, North. Evan Opkenorth and uh, Jared Golbeck. Split Gerber being guarded by Witter. Well, Hamilton with a three, couldn't get it to go and uh, South continuing to struggle. Yeah, and that's a force again, Marty. That's a travel not called. Sinellis open. He nails a three. Hey, isn't it interesting in the first? Oh, you're going to have an easy basket. Oh, and he doesn't attack the basket. Mike Rank. Rank had a chance for a Jeez. layup and pulled it back out. Why not go for the hoop? I was just going to say, Marty, let's we'll see what Rank. He'd rather take a three and, and hit it. hit it. I was going to say, the first half was all the other players. Here you're going to see that three by Rank. Bang. All those other players contributing, but to start the second half, two threes by Hosentine, two threes by Sinalis. The seniors, the veterans, giving North their uh, their big lead. 
Osenstein got it down deep against uh, Split Gerber and then tried to take him to the basket and uh, drew the foul and now they're talking, maybe a little too much uh, talking down there. Chris. I think they're setting up their play. Hamilton and Lorgi are going to get a talking to. Boys, there will be no talking in class. You will sit down and behave or go to the principal's office. Well, Lorgi had a layup and then he lost the ball and they're going to get a foul on Logan Hamilton. For uh, Logan, that's only his second, so he's in pretty good shape in that regard. We've got 12-23 left, North up by nine. It's just been a oh, sorry. total change yeah, from the first half. It's 54-46, 45, 54-45. So Canales wide open, couldn't get it in. Split Gerber with the long rebound, he's gonna push it up the floor. He finds an opening and goes to the hoop, and he's fouled. Yeah, our, the score is 54-45. to 45. Did you just see what happened there when he got hit to the floor? Did you see who helped him up? Two North guys. That was a hard attack by Splitty. He knew he was going to get bumped. Split Gerber on the line to shoot two. And you said they missed a bunch in the yeah, first half. Yeah, they huh? were only five for nine at the free throw line, and that uh, was the first free throw of the second half, so they're only five out of ten. You see Jared Splitgerber feels as bad as anybody about not making a free throw. You got that one. 54-46, North up by eight. Good inside feed to Hasenstein. His jumper down deep is up and in. Hazi's woken up the second half, Chris. Oh, yeah, as you knew he would. Here he got a steal deep. by Hazi. North on the bust out. To Sinellis, and he draws the foul. North is going to go to the line. The veterans. 11 and 23 for North. Did you see that too, Chris? No hesitation whatsoever. Boom, right to the basket. Yep. We're going for it. South had it at the other end, and uh, Mike Rank just didn't, you know, push it to the hoop when he could have. Now, we talked about South's free throw shooting in the first half. North was only two out of five. Two out of seven. Six for the game now. Martin's in the game, as is Josh Govek. Sokolowski in for uh, Lorgi. It's a 10 point lead, largest lead of the game for either squad. South with an opportunity to chip at that rank. Looking for the three, was not open. Hopkinorth uh, tried to, did eye it up, but didn't shoot it. Dylan Martin's really quiet in the second half, Marty. Good defense underneath by Sokolowski, and then uh, getting the uh, interception was Sinalis. South had four turnovers oh. in, the, in the second half. They only had, they had five in the first, so too many for them. Govek, bango, smooth as silk. Watch it, boom, right through the net. I'll tell you, 10 point lead down to seven, just like that. They're clearing out a side for Hasenstein. Now they get into the offense. Seymour with a short jumper, couldn't get it in. Ball knocked away from Goldbeck. Hazi got away with one there. It could have easily been a foul. You know what, I think a big difference has been North's defense, Marty. They're stopping this drive penetration while till that one. But because Martin's had so much success in that first half because the South people would drive and then dump to him and get baskets. Well, South is not getting to the basket here in the second half, which is not giving Martin those easy opportunities either. So it's just a spiral effect. Right, yeah, you're right. 
Good point, Chris. Oh, Martins lost oh, it on my. the way up. Oh. Hopkinor couldn't get it. And Witter tapped it out of bounds. Martin looks a little more inspired uh, this trip down, Chris. He's uh, really hustling well, after the He's trying the to ball. get open, and it's been tough for him. North, uh, he lost Credit North it. D. Well, I was going to say, though, the last, he was open. He should have made that on the inbounds play. He's wide open underneath. Nobody's guarding him. Govek had the ball tapped away. Ozzie's going to pick up the foul. Three fouls on uh, Zach Hosenstein. Almost There's so clean. 10 17 left. What do you do? Let's bring Seymour back in. Uh, Hosenstein been a big, big impact here in the second half. Nine points in the game for uh, Zach. Eight of them in the second half. Twelve of seventeen from three for North on the three pointers. Oosh. Crazy. South creeping back in though. Fifty-six, fifty-one it was a ten-point lead down to five. North has been silent the last few minutes. Bedoin driving to the hoop, couldn't get it in, fighting for the rebound, but knocked it out of bounds. South will have it back. Good effort there. It was a good shot attempt. Good attack by Q. Govek's trying to get it. Jared is the one that gets it. Or is that Josh? <laughs> See how he stepped through that? Yeah. Nice. He lays it up and in. Nice layup that time by uh, Jared Govek. Very athletic move. Look at that. Oof. And North with a timeout. With 9.46 remaining, North up by only three. It's a long break. Kids who play outdoors have healthier lungs. Totally. Did you know that boys that play with dolls make better husbands? My son has lots of dolls. But did you know terry cloth diapers breathe better? I did. Mm -hmm. Totally true. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you guys know statistically friendly kids have more friends? Yeah. That's obvious. Did you know most people think they're using the right car seat for their kid, but they're not? The parents who really know it all know for sure that their child is in the right seat. Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat to make sure your child... Back at uh, South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse. Uh, South making a run, Chris. They've gotten four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven to two run on the Raiders. Well, they survived there. Uh, North still shooting almost 50%. I have 21 for 43. Uh, just a tick under 50%. South struggling in the second half. Just Oh, I thought it was uh, uh, South struggling. I was going to say 33% in the quarter there uh, and just down by three now. Both teams continuing to play a man-to-man -man defense. See if Sonalis can get open here. There he goes. Kick out to Seymour. Runner in the lane, he rolls it in, and that breaks a string of uh, empty trips for the Raiders. That was a big hoop, Chris. Brian Seymour, 15 points north-south game. We always look for those heroes. We said it in the opening. Yep, some of those guys that are... Uh, you wouldn't count on. Hopkinorth couldn't get it. Martins kicks it out to Goldbeck. Couldn't get it in. And uh, Evan Opkinorth knocked it away from Sinellis out of bounds. North will get it with a five-point lead. 8.53 left in the ball game. Fouls are even. Big crowd tonight too, Chris. Yep. A lot of people in the field house. Excellent basketball game, Marty. Oh. <laughs> Josh Goldbeck really wet. 
put Dwight on the arm, knocked the ball out of bounds. And uh, <laughs> uh, thinking on his arm too, or oh yeah, big so time. So he said something to him. But Dwayne looked at him and then looked at the official and short jumper by uh, Witter is no good. That's Golvik's fifth. Jared, that is. Witter's been he's missed his last four baskets. Witter with the uh, steal on the uh, questionable pass by uh, Jared Golvik. Or spreading it out a little bit. Oh, yeah. Five-point lead now. And the basketball. Look at him go. Bedoin got it, and he's fouled. Quentin Bedoin. Quentin Bedoin. Another one of those yep. unsung heroes, Chris. And Brian Seymour. Fouls on Hamilton, his third. Wow. But Doyne with eight points, a chance to kick it up to nine. I'm not as surprised by uh, Seymour because he is a pretty good uh, points guy off the bench. But Doyne couldn't get it in either. I'll tell you, North is just terrible tonight at the free throw line. Hamilton couldn't get it to the hoop. Give it to Govek. He wants to go. Another good defender. Nope. Rank shot is no good. That was a force, too. Witter got around Goldbeck. Steps by the other defender and lays it up and in. Witter. 60-53. Back to 62 nine. 62-53, pardon me. Yeah, it looked like uh, South was making a run, and now they can't do anything right again. Sinellis lays it in. Yeah. Hamilton had a back off of him, Chris, with his two fouls, three fouls. Coach Rank, yep, I was going to say, you're going to call timeout, you better. Guys, can you replay that last layup by uh, Sinellis? Hamilton just picked up his third, and now he's got a guy with a ball running right at him. Watch this right here. He, I mean, there wasn't a whole lot he could do yet. That, that wasn't actually Logan. It was a different kid down there. but uh, Yeah. I guess the North has weathered the storm, at least so yep, far. There's still 7.29 left. There's, got within uh, five, called timeout, who came out and was more assertive. Not the home team that was assertive. It was Sheboygan North. It's been three. It was, was three. It was 56-53. Oh, wow. North called the timeout. Scored now they've eight run straight. out. Two, four, six, eight. You're right. But we got a whole quarter. Here's Witter. Yeah, oh. there he went by Splitty, Splitty there. Ethan Sinalis, three of four here in the quarter. Zach Hosenstein, three of four, each of them with eight points. Then the spark, and then you get the Brian Seymour and Quentin Bedoin. The, the thing about South is they just aren't shooting well like they did in the no. first half. No. This game, at least, North looks pretty comfortable running the break or slowing it up in the half court too. 28% shooting for South in the second half after shooting 50% in the first half. Josh Gulbeck being guarded by uh, Snellis. The thing with North is they are over 50% shooting. They've been hot all night. Yeah, and when you're hot from three, it uh, makes it doubly difficult yep. for the other team. Good help by Bedoin. And the ball kicked away. Kazi with a good hustle, and North has it. Seventh turnover for South. And Seymour hard to the basket, scores, and he's fouled. Seven. And Mike Rank not liking the call. It looks like a call that could have gone either way, Chris. Seven turnovers for South in the second half as well. Five and 35, that's been your heroes. Let's see if Seymour can make a free throw. Why not? 67-53. This has been quite a run. The second half of this second half. Hosenstein and Hamilton getting to know each other on the defensive end. Rank from way outside. And a whistle underneath. Who's going to get the foul? 
Whatever was going on underneath, that official didn't like it. I think it's going to go on Sun and Tag. Brian Seymour checking out of his game. Yeah, he's got red cheeks. He's been oh, working yeah. hard. He lost his dad a couple years ago. A wonderful, wonderful man. I'm sure he's looking down right now and very proud of his son. Hamilton wide open from the corner. Nails it. Breaking the string, Logan Hamilton. Still six and a half minutes, Marty. Logan with 12. Rank with 12. Govek with 12. Martins with 10. Great balance scoring by the uh, Red Wings. And Josh Govek with the 12. Witter in the lane, put it up and in. North running the offense to perfection there. They are red hot. Hazi playing a tough defense. Hamilton scores oh. and is fouled. <laughs> They're going to give it to him. Trying to bring his team back. He's a stud. Ozzie with four fouls, Chris. He's going to have to go out with the 552 left. Seymour comes back in. I know Hazi's had a tough night scoring. You know, he thinks he should have more than nine. So do we. But uh, I'll tell you, he got North started off right early in the second half. Absolutely. Hamilton finishes off the three-point play. It's a ten-point North lead. 5.45 left in the game. Seymour kicking it out to Witter. He's wide open. Couldn't get it. Quine with the strong rebound. Absolutely, again. Sinellis with a three. Oh, my goodness. How do you beat somebody like that, Chris? They just, they're raining them. Everything they do is going in. Shooting about 52%, I have, Marty. Just went south. Looks like they're going to crawl back in. North nails a three. Martins. <laughs> Looked like he wanted to stuff it, but uh, did crawl in for yeah, him. Here's the pass. Mil Martin's first layup like that in the entire second half. North's done a great job controlling Martin's. Clearing out the side for Seymour. Good defense played by uh, Split Gerber. Pardon me, that was Josh Golbeck. Spin move by Seymour. No good. Sokolowski with the rebound. Sinellis with another three from the corner this time. They're right in them. You got that right. 14 point North lead. I have over 14 threes, Marty. North, that is. Martins thought he had it, but he bounced it off his foot. It goes out of bounds, and he's uh, hurting. We got a full timeout, guys. With the uh, 4.26 left, North on top, 75-61. We'll be right back. There's one thing you can never have sex without. It's not something you buy. Or something you take. In fact, there's only one way to get it. It has to be given to you, freely. It's consent. Because sex without it isn't sex. It's rape. Consent. If you don't get it, you don't get it. It's on us to stop sexual assault. Learn how and take the pledge at itsonus.org. We just got word, Chris, we got to get this out to the community. Scott Mailoff is our director of this game. 14 threes for uh, North. They had eight in the first half, six so far here in the second half, and yeah. I think they're shooting over 50% from three. Yeah, well, they're 14 of 21 from three points. That's all? Yeah. <laughs> That's all. The South a couple times were going to crawl right back in. They got it to 56-53. North called a timeout and then ran off. I think it was eight points in a row. Nine points, and uh, it's just been very tough for... Uh, South to recover yeah, because South, they make a two and North makes a three. Yeah, South 
Salas just 7 of 24 from 3, which is still a good night, but my gosh, and you got uh, the other team making 3 times as many, and now uh, North going to be content to run some clock with 4 minutes left, Marty. Rank guarding Witter. Witter pulls it out. Under four minutes left in the ball game. And Rank with the foul. That's going to be the eighth foul on uh, South. Witter will go to the line. North has not done themselves any favors with their free throw shooting tonight. They were only two for five in the first half, and they are oh, one for four here in the second. Witter puts it down. And this is what they were in the first half, two for five. So far this half, they're two for five. Shooting 50% from the floor in the second half. 49% for the game. 16 point lead is the largest lead of the ball game. Wow, who would have thought, Marty? Really? Govek takes him to school and scores. Question is, is it too late? Three and a half there minutes left. you see him left. go right by Seymour for the layup. This is the end, they're gonna have to take care of business south if they want any chance, but uh, Analysis who's been red hot, thought about it. Bedoin looking to go to the basket, does wow. and scores. Q and Seymour. Go back inside, a whistle stops action. I think they're going to get uh, Sinellis for the foul. Uh, before I mentioned, Chris, that. Uh, Govek drove right around Seymour to uh, Brian's defense. He got absolutely no help from his teammates underneath. Everybody was looking the other way. Against uh, Josh Govek, there you see him. It's pretty hard to just go one on one with him. You got to get some help. Still give a lot of credit to this defense in the second half by North, Marty. They really stopped the drive penetration, which uh, you know, force South to take threes, which they aren't making, and then kind of basically eliminate Dylan Martins. Dylan Martins is just one of three in the uh, second half after being five of seven in the first half. He had five offensive rebounds in the first half alone, Marty. None in the second half. Really? He had 10 first half points. He's got 12 in the game, which means he's only scored two this half. Yep, just that one basket. How many rebounds you got him for? Total. Total for Dylan, I have seven. Okay. But he had those five offensive rebounds in the first half, none. Yeah. In the second half. Sinalis feeling it. Martins goes over Witter, and they're going to get Witter with the fall. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, it's time for him to pick up a foul. He, that's his first one the whole game, hasn't he? Has he been playing any defense? All right, out loud. Now, I said Dylan was a pretty good free throw shooter. I'm not going to say that this time. I think I jinxed him the last time he was on the line. Here we go. Logan Hamilton with 15. Dylan Martins with... Uh, 13, Witter with the rebound. He's had a few rebounds here in the second half too, Chris. Yes, he has. Good observation, he's got three, five in the game. Three in the second half. Here's been the spark plug. 240. And a foul, Sinellis will go to the line. I don't think I'd want to follow him. Been there, done that, in the state tournament. Yeah, I, I hear you. I would rather. Experience is important. The Govic brothers come in. A pair of Govics. Sim Safford on the uh, mic tonight. Floor announcer.
Boy, Chris, you're a pretty smart guy. You know who not to foul. Tell you, South looked real good in this house on three straight conference games. And uh, North with that fast start in that second half. I mean, South could make a basket to get going, and North couldn't miss. 80 to 66. Kovac for three. Couldn't get it. Snell's with the strong rebound. Kick it out to Hasenstein. He goes around the defense, but the rank picks up the foul. I think that should have been a pass. What do you think? I think he did the right thing. Take it to the basket oh, himself. Yeah. Okay. I'll defer to you then. And that was the tenth team fall. It'll be two shots each time to the line now. With that uh, free throw, Hasenstein now at 10. Seymour with 18. Sinalis with 18. Witter with 18. Bedoin with 10. Hasenstein 10. And he taps it away and gets it back. Witter followed by Hamilton. 2.15 left. South I have for just seven baskets, Marty, in the second half. Oh, that's uh, just two threes. Yeah, it's hard to win. Excuse me, three threes. I was wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. I'm sorry, three threes, and then uh, it's five twos. And then Medusa is Medusa the, the multi-headed monster in Greek mythology? Because that's what North has here. Look at those. Look at that score. It's five guys in double figures. Witter with 19. Looking yep. for 20. It's hard to win basketball games when you get that kind of production. Brent Witter, 13th in the league in scoring. Just a sophomore, as we said, he's first in the league in threes. Started off the game hitting four threes in the first half. Hamilton scores inside, good pass. He's up to 17, but as I say, tick, 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 it's going to clock. 15 points down with two minutes left. You can play the foul game, but if North starts making their free throws, as they have been, it'll be difficult. Bedoin on the line. Clinton with 10. They've been better at the end of the game, this this particular game, Chris, the early part, the early part of the second half has not been good. And there's two more misses. Wow. 83 68, 150 ha left. Hamilton with just his third rebound. Uh, Logan Hamilton just muscling his way in there. I think that's going to be it for Hasenstein. Nope, Brett Witter. Could have called a bunch of guys there. <laughs> Three really, down on yeah, him. Yeah, exactly. Logan has 17 points, leads uh, South scoring. Again, on official at eight turnovers on South in the second half, too. That didn't help the cause. Not making baskets and turning the ball over. On the counter side, I have North for just two turnovers in the second half. Can't make free throws. So now also another rebound. And a quick foul. I have five rebounds for Ethan. <laughs> Opgenorth. Only the TV guys get to call him Oppie. Yeah, what well, was fairly good free throw shooting, at least for North. They made uh, 6 out of 8, 6 out of 10, 6 out of 12, well, 6 out of 11. Unless he m misses this, then it's 6 out of 12, their last 12. There. Leaving the door open, Chris. 135 left. Rank with a quick release. He nails a three. He hits his fifth three. He's been about the only one that's been able to make them tonight. 
That's CD lead to 11. 83 72, 129 left. Next week, Sheboygan, Christian, and Lutheran. Yes, sir. Friday night. And that, and that game will be at Sheboygan County Christian High School. We look uh, forward to doing that game. Uh, just like we look forward to doing all the games, right, Chris? I mean, uh, we enjoy doing this. I was excited all day. Go, go by earlier. As I said, I went out to Con, saw the truck out here. And it's been a very entertaining game. I mean, if you Absolutely. like three-point shooting, <laughs> this was your game. Ebb and flow, you know, back and forth. I would say if there was one thing that was bad, not just one thing, but bad, was the free throw shooting. Uh, other than that, I think most, uh, in most respects, this is a very good game, well-played game. Turnovers, not a lot of those, have there been? Uh, too many for Salts in the second half. That's not a good now, shot. there is a case where if you're a smart player, you either call a timeout or you step through. You don't just let them tie up. inexperienced there. <coughs> Get that tur turnover. I did. That's just the <laughs> third on North. Goldbeck being guarded by Bedoin. Got to go to the rack. Hazenstein's got four. Hazy's out of the game. That's the right move on him. Hazenstein with number five. He'll finish his night with uh, 10 points. Big, big spark there. Right, we mentioned that. Uh, started with a three by Sinellis and then two threes by uh, Zach Hazenstein, and that really propelled North. I mean, double bonus time here. Oh, gosh. Out of the game is Mike Brink Jr. I have him five of 12 from three point range. It's a pretty good night for him. One for two trip cuts the lead to 10 with still 117 left. It's not over. He's missed some free throws. Those all add up. And a quick foul. We're going to get that on. I think, uh, yep, Dylan Martins. A lot of offense, defense substituting here, Chris. Yep. By Mike Rank Sr. Some more three-point shooters out there. Rainitzen, a little ball handling. Well, I think they kind of countered with the three-point guys, so a little more speed. Okay, all right. Yeah, I think a little to cover up because they got basically their their shooters out. They took Martins and Golbeck out, some of the bigger guys. So good counter there by Coach Worth. Hamilton trying to get in there. Hamilton drives through the crowd and scores. He has 21. There's oh, a steal. Stole it away by Split Gerber. <laughs> Hamilton kick out. Split Gotta have it sway short. Couldn't get it in. Hamilton with the rebound. Rank open. He wants the ball. Hamilton not throwing it to him. Split with a foul. Ten point lead, under a minute, 46.3. North's gonna have it. I'm bringing the defenders back in. Jared Govek, Dylan Martins, Rank and uh, Hamilton sit down. Well, oh, you got a steal there and you didn't get a basket. That just was a painful situation. Two guys in the same spot. That's the guy to foul. I wouldn't foul Bedoin. Been pretty clutch he, up there. He missed his last two. That means he's due. Yep. Yeah. 
actually he was 0 for his last two and 0 for 1 before that and 0 for 1 before that. Money. <laughs> He's got 11 points and uh, you mentioned about Seymour with his 18. I mean, those are two guys. I mean, you expect some points from from uh, Seymour, but 18, wow. Bedoin makes two. 12 point lead for North. Govek couldn't get it in. Split Gerber with the rebound. Step through, scores and is fouled. Jared Split Gerber, what a move. South's running out of time, Marty. Oh, for sure. And they keep missing yeah. free throws. But Martins comes back and scores and is fouled. It's his first offensive rebound, Marty, in the second half. Fouls to number 21, Jackson Hancock. Basket was good. And number 42, Dylan Martins. Martins will be at the line shooting South's two. South's missed a lot of free throws, Marty. Martins with just the second basket in the half. Don't have time. Oh, oh Govek good cut. Would have stepped up there. Rainitz. That's going to do it. 24 seconds left. Deep three is no good. It goes out of bounds. North will have it with 17.2 seconds left. It's 89-80, North on top. Back in for South, 42, Dylan Martins. Back in for South, Logan Hamilton, Mike Wright, Jr. Uh, trying to get it, and they get a foul. With 13 seconds left, Seymour will be the guy going to the line. Thirty-second timeout. I believe that's by North. Chris uh, went down to the floor to get uh, a couple of interviews. Eighty-nine to eighty. Thirteen seconds left. Uh, South tried to answer, but uh, North was always up to the task. Our next basketball game, we mentioned this before, we'll mention it again, will be next Friday, January 20th, when uh, Sheboygan Lutheran heads over to uh, Sheboygan Christian for the uh, Holy War by the Shore. Seymour is uh, fouled by Josh Govek. Well, if Seymour can make this one, he's going to have a 20-point game in the North-South game. That's going to be a memory he'll have for a lifetime. 91 points for the Raiders, 80 for South. They're no slouch. Hamilton from three-ball land couldn't get it. Govek is fouled by Witter. He'll be shooting three, I believe. For Witter, that's his fourth. Oh boy.
Consistency on free throws has been lacking. North has been a little better, like I mentioned, towards the end of the ball game, but uh, for the most part, they've struggled too. South has been a little better, but uh, that's not good enough in a game like this. You gotta be a lot better than your opponent. 3.6 seconds left. Goldbeck makes uh, two of three. He's got uh, 18 points. Ball is tipped away. Split Gerber, shot. No good. And that's going to be the ball game. Sheboygan North, the winner, 91 to 82. Stick around when we come back from the commercial breaks. Chris will have a couple of the uh, Golden Raiders for an interview. I'll wrap it up from up here and then uh, we'll call it a night. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it. Hey, you going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing. We're just playing. I'm trying to get you out of here. Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. Getting closer to nature can get you closer to your family. Go to discovertheforest.org. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Back here with Ethan Snell, Brent Witter. I'll tell you what, you people paid a little admission. It was a lot of fun tonight. Oh, yeah. Great game. Good team win, and we pulled it out. Pulled it out. 14 threes. You guys are just raining them tonight. Oh, yeah. That's what we're going to be doing. But the, our teammates did a good job finding us on the three-point arc, and we, we dropped them. Well, you started them early, and then these guys got them later, but... Boy, it just makes such a difference for the game when you guys can hit all those threes. And when you don't make the threes, it doesn't go so good, but it's got to be fun when they're going in. Yeah. See, our, our offense is getting a little stagnant at the end. But, I mean, we got a, got a couple good shots, and uh, that really pulled it out for us. And how about Ethan? You know, I said the, at halftime, all the kind of guys that weren't in this game a year ago all participated. And then Ethan and Zach come out to start the second half, and... Bam! I mean, it's nice to get those those senior guys making those big buckets. Oh yeah, I mean there, I mean a lot of veterans here. I mean they're they're very good leaders. They help me and the other uh, other guys out, and I mean helped us get this W. Yeah, it was it was a, it was a very entertaining, Brent. It was it was. What did Coach say at halftime? Because close game like that and quick start to the second half, just what you wanted. We're going the way we wanted it to in the first half, and we we're only down by two. 
So Zach did a great job getting us pumped up, Ethan and Coach, and we all we all came together and said we got we got this. Well, congratulations to you. Ethan, you've been in this game before like that. There's some new guys here that haven't been here, but how about Brian Seymour and Quentin Bedoin? <laughs> Didn't even play last year? What yeah. a bunch of heroes out of nowhere, huh? Yeah, they've been working hard in practice, and they really have a lot of talent, and it was just getting out on the floor and being able to show it, and obviously tonight they did, and they are able to help us a lot down the stretch and throughout the game. Yeah, we kind of said in the opening, who's going to be the heroes like that? And here's two guys that we said that, you know, we don't always count on. Stepping up, it's it got to be just great for those guys. Yeah, and in these rivalry games, there's always an X factor that comes out of nowhere <laughs> and just scores and helps and puts the team to victory. And, you know, those two are really big for us tonight. Now, two things about uh, you guys, too, just a little technical stuff. You know, your defense in the second half, too, it seemed like South got a lot of drive penetration in the first half and then kind of dumped down to big Dylan Martins. You guys really took away the drive penetration. He was almost eliminated there, but... The defense really stepped up again in that second yeah, half. Yeah, in that first half, we weren't our sharpest on defense, and so we knew if we were going to pull out the W, we needed to pick it up on D, and that's where our offense starts from because then we can get in the transition, and that's where we're best, actually. Yeah, and, uh, I, you know, like Dylan Martins, too, first half, he had, like, five offensive rebounds. I don't think he got one till like, the last two minutes here. You kept him off the glass, too. Yeah, we pride ourselves in practice and in games to not give up offensive rebounds, and... If anyone watches, we're obviously smaller than most teams, and we need to box out and get the rebounds. And down the stretch, we were able to. Well, I'm not going to ask him because he's got a few more of these games, but you've played a lot of these games. What's it like to play in these North-South games for you? They're so fun. They're totally different than every other game. The fans are crazy. So much excitement. It's just fun to be out here. Yeah, any other memories about North-South games over the last few years? Meals or practices or just a little different? or? Well, last year I sprained my ankle in like the first five minutes of the game, so that kind of sucked for me. So it's nice to be back out here playing. Well, congratulations, boy. Good luck in practice. It's always better when you win. With that, we're going to send it back to, to Marty. Sheboygan North, the winner, 91-82. to 82. Leading scores, Logan Hamilton had 21 for uh, South. Dylan Martins had 16. Mike Grank Jr. had 15. For North, they had a bevy of scores and double figures. Brett Witter had 24. Brian Seymour had 20. Ethan Sinellis had 18. Quinton Bedoin, 12. Zach Hosenstein, their high scorer, had 10. And we want to give a shout-out to uh, Tommy Rainitz, who had a layup towards the end. He had two. With the win, North moves to 7-2 and two overall, 4-2 and two in conference. South drops to 5-5, 3-3 five and 3-3 five, three and three in conference. Uh, on the girls' side, again, Sheboygan North girls won 67-43. to With these two wins by North, it was a total sweep of the North-South series. North won the freshman games, uh, the JV games, and, of course, the two varsity games tonight. Uh, great job by the crew. For my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road, especially next Friday at uh, Sheboygan County Christian.